happening, guys? We're back for another Quick Tip Tuesday here. Today we're talking about scrubs or no scrubs. And if your first thought was TLC, I gotta be honest, mine was too. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, my name's Jay Yudlovsky, and here we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, some YouTube tips, and some gear stuff, because we all love some gear stuff, right? So today we're talking about audio scrubbing here in DaVinci Resolve and how you can turn it on or turn it off. So if you are using your arrow keys to slowly move through the timeline, you can hear the sound, or you don't have to hear it if you don't want to. Let's jump into Resolve. I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so I'm here in DaVinci Resolve. And for example, if I use my arrow keys and scrub back and forth, you can see you hear the sound. And even if I hold my arrow key, so let's jump. You can hear the audio as you scrub through. Now, what if you don't want to hear that? Or maybe you don't hear it right now, but you want to. Well, come on up to Timeline. Come on down right here. You've got audio scrubbing and shift S is the keyboard shortcut. So go ahead and turn that on or off depending on what you want. If I come back in my timeline, use my arrow keys. Notice when I scrub, there's nothing. If I hold the arrow key, there's nothing, no sound. And maybe that's what I want. Maybe I don't want to hear it, right? But if I hit the space bar and go ahead and play through the timeline, throw it on here and how to use it. There you go. No problem. It's still there. That's it, guys. No scrubs, not TLC. Easy to do here in DaVinci Resolve. In case you want to hear it more, maybe you don't because maybe you think it's annoying. So that's it for this one, guys. Nice and quick. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned a little something. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.